Okay, Janie Howell, S.W. Howell, Inc. This replant uh, 
is a combination of, let me fold my plat out here, there's three lots, four lots being combined into two, and it doesn't have to be an acre because it's got water. It's got public drinking water. This water system, although it's not in the city of Odessa, is being furnished by the city of Odessa, but it comes back to the date when, in the 80s, when the chromium site was developed and they ran water all over this part of the city property. So it has city water. And so it's not going to be restricted to having a one acre track like the health department in the ECISD said, I mean, because it does have city water. Did they know that? I, what's the it's sometimes hard to know whether they know it or not, but I don't think it's being rejected by the county, but it does have city water. We did receive a notification from Ector County, uh, Eddie Landrum, that they are uh, denying this uh, reply. Why? What? They are uh, stating that uh, the lots are less than an acre. Um, that was their, uh, that's what they voiced their State opinion of. Yeah, and I didn't realize that Eddie had made a comment about this. I thought that, that y'all were going to turn this down because you said it's not the uh, the lot sizes are, are crossing county lines and it does all kinds of weird things that the engineering people are crazy about. Is there any way to verify the, the city water? Eddie did turn it down based on the lots are actually less than half an acre. He's here. Okay. Eddie's here. All right, Eddie. <laughs> so they do not meet the half acre standard either. But I'll let Eddie address that. Sorry, I just walked in. Uh, which one are we talking about? Keeler? No, that's T this one. Huh? Yeah. It's Keeler. Keeler? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this is the one that... This has got city water. Okay. Okay. Like the email I sent uh, yesterday about this. You didn't send uh, it to me. No, ma'am. I sent it to the. That on these here, uh, mm -hmm. they are just below the actual half acre track, but as long as they are connected to uh, a, a city or public water supply, we will allow them to be just a little bit less than a half acre track. So you're saying that y'all are not opposed to it? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> Well, I don't think so. There's a, these are tiny little lots on right where they had mobile home park. Yeah. yeah and so and they're, they're taking... It, they're basically cleaning up the, the smaller lots that all these little mobile homes were on. And now they're making them into... Now they got larger homes on them. And, and it's based off of ownership per, uh, of what the owners now own of these properties, and they're trying to separate them out. And uh, we're just going to you know, allow the county has no issue with with what they're doing. Okay. I just have another question: Does so the Dukes have city, city water, and they may actually get also they can drill wells on this property at all because of the chromium? Uh, I think that they clean well. I'm they can drill a well. And if it's got chromium on it, that's just for not drinking. Okay. You can irrigate your house with it. As long as they had the proper clearance of, of 100 feet. Yeah, from a septic. But And there is no septic out here, so the drilling a water well probably is a moot question because there were one, two, three lots in one of them, and so there's three septic systems out there. They were existing. They've been there forever. And so we're, they're just trying to clean it up. But because this has water, city water out there, because of the chromium site, super fund, is there any reason I don't see why they can't like have small issue. lots, huh? Doesn't sound like we have an issue anymore. Not on my okay. side. Okay. Not on my side. Nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, although this is not a public. I'm glad that you got clarification on these issues. That's what we're here for. I appreciate staff work on that. I appreciate the community. Uh, with that said, the third commission, if there's any discussion or a motion. I move for approval of this. Case vote. Is that motion for approval? Is there a second? Second. Uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, moving on. Uh, 
Uh, last item on the agenda is case file number 2024-23B. Motion <coughs> approving staff recommend amended conditions on Westgate Acres Seven Files being a route five seven point eight oh acres out of block one in Westgate Acres Seven Media Epic County, Texas. Uh property generally located on the southwest corner of the second the intersection of Queen Second Street and Mercedes Street. Yes, sir. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. The applicant and owner, Gerardo Galindo, as well as consultant Piper Surveying Co. Inc., are seeking to replant to create 14 lots for ownership purposes. Uh, this case has been sent through the city for comments. And we've re received no objections from city departments, and therefore, staff recommends approval of the replant of 7.8 acres of Block 1 Westgate Acres, subject to Condition A. And we are now open for any questions. Thank you. Any questions? No further business. See you in the morning. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes.